many of us have grown up identifying with our experiences and with the encounters that we have in, of life and that's who you think you are that's not who you are that's what you went through that's what you experienced and what you experienced taught you many things it taught you how to uh, act it taught you how to react um, it taught you things that you needed to survive but this is a day of greater this is uh, ending a time of surviving and entering a time of thriving and the ways of surviving and the ways of thriving aren't the same so this is going to turn you on to that greater version of you that is uh, capable of, of manifesting the reality that you desire first by doing it within but back to what I'm saying with this greater resistance because once you understand that that greater resistance is available to you you want to be, begin creating it now I come across people all the time who have a problem believing that greater is available to them and that they are worthy of greater. That's something serious to consider. Oftentimes in my coaching sessions, there's no need to move forward until we deal with that right there. Absolutely important and absolutely imperative that we kill this illusion that you have, that you are uniquely defective. That the conundrum of the things that you have experienced through your life encounters make you ineffective, give you a reason to not be able to produce greater than. We also have to release and abandon any thought and any mindset that would connect you with believing that you aren't worthy of greater. If this isn't you, great. There's plenty of people who show up every day and in their honesty will admit that they often don't feel worthy of the great existence that they desire. Don't you know not feeling worthy of it is a fast way to lead you to self-sabotage? Because if you don't believe it, if you don't believe it's going to happen, if you're not seeing it happen in your mind, if you're not manifesting it, right? You're not taking your thoughts and turning it into a thing. You're not doing any of that. You will begin to do all of the things that would lead to you not having it. If you're not working for it, you're working against it, right? If you're not aligning with it, you're not aligning with it. So either you are going to wake up every day committed to aligning with what aligns with your goal, what aligns with the life that you want to live, what aligns with the way that you want to experience life, with a, what, what aligns with the legacy that you want to leave based off of what you do with your energy while you're here. If you can wake up every day and stay committed to that, listen gonna have a great time you're gonna have a great time and that doesn't mean that everything is good but it's all used for good for you so what does your greater resistance look like take a moment to really consider you're gonna need to write this down you're gonna need to paint this picture what does your greater existence look like And somebody needs to know. Somebody needs to know that it is okay to dream big. It is okay to dream big. I know you have gone through things that told you you weren't, you can't dream like that. I know you got to a period of life where you were forced to stop dreaming and stop believing in your dreams. So in order to cope with that, you just start dreaming small based off of what you see you could pull off, what's immediate to you. I'm talking about what's beyond you. I want to get to that greater 
that's beyond you. So what does your greater look like? It's okay to dream big again.